Even by Haiti's standards, this is chaos. A deadly and violent gang orchestrated uprising against the authorities. It's basically an attempted coup. The storming of two prisons and the mass breakout of thousands of its inmates has sent shockwaves through the country. Cells are now empty. Bodies are still inside the prison compounds. But some prisoners have not left. They say the breakout was lethally dangerous. It was a very difficult situation last night. There was a riot in the prison and our lives were at risk. And what we needed to do was shelter ourselves because there are a lot of shots and we were afraid for our lives. The violence on the streets has forced people to gather up belongings and look for safer areas to wait for things to calm down. The gang violence has spiked because the Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, is finalising plans for a peacekeeping force to come from Africa to Haiti. A collective of gangs is led by Jimmy Chirezia, known as Barbecue. He says the gangs are on the people's side and against the government. Men with weapons are not your enemy. Arrest Ariel Henry and you'll see how these weapons are not to cause any harm. They are symbols of our freedom. Last year, we spent a day with Barbecue in his territory in Port-au-Prince. He is an out-and-out -out gangster, but sees himself as a sort of Robin Hood, who is always in danger. He warned at the time that any foreign intervention here would lead to more violence. But if they try to resolve it with guns, I think certainly many people in the slums will die, and they will kill mostly innocent people more than the guilty ones. The truth is the Haitian security forces and the civilian government are ineffective. To all intents and purposes, this entire country is now controlled by a federation of gang bosses. It's arguably a world first. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News.